Okay, we start a new week now, week number five of our OBV divergence strategy. And it was looking shaky as we went into the end of last week, and it's got worse today. Really weak for the New Zealand dollar, and it shows in the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar currency pair. Did gap open a bit lower initially, but the Aussie dollar did gain over a percentage since then. And so we lose about $2,000 on the trade. Didn't feel like it was the worst divergence. We didn't have divergence here. The OBV has gone higher in this peak, and it was 21 periods back as well. So we were patient. We took the divergence when we could. But still no luck for us here. The US dollar Canadian dollars kept pushing as well. The stop loss is looking pretty good at the moment. The pound did drop about another four and a half percent to the low today, but it's since bounced back and it's only going to close around about one and a half percent down. Yeah, only about a percent and a half. New Zealand dollar Swiss franc is closing at a lower close, but so is the OBV, so can't do anything there. No signals to get started for the week. Let's try again tomorrow. Day 22. No open trades, we know that. Let's get it started, see if we can find any out there. Not much interesting going on, a fairly flat day. Certainly no OBV divergence signals. Maybe tomorrow. Day 23, looks like there's going to be a bit more volatility today on the charts. Our Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar trade, if we were selling it, back beneath the stop loss now. I only spent a couple of days above there. It did push a bit today, but back down it comes. See if we can find a trade out there. Great British Pound bounces back a little bit after the Bank of England steps in. And purely to support fiscal policy this time. Can't be too clever for them. Cad Swiss Franc, this is the first pair that we're seeing with a more extreme closing price for the day. In this instance, it's the lowest close of the last 20 periods, but the OBV is lower too. So no trade. No other lower closes and no higher closes. So it's a bit of a non-starter for us today. Hopefully we see some big pushes again. Can certainly imagine the pound sinking some more. Hopefully divergence comes with it. Day 24. Not expect any new trades today, as a lot of these trades have been reversed in the last few days, just like we see on the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar here. Our trade from just a week ago now would be back into a little bit of profit, such as the stop loss. Uh, US dollar, Canadian dollar looks like it wants to push back up. Not at that high close yet, but could be a future divergence signal. Get us back in there, maybe. Maybe. Higher close on the Euro New Zealand dollar and it is more than two times from the ATR. But the divergence peak that we're up against is only three candles ago. If we see another big green day like that, we could take a look at the trade. No new signals, just as predicted. Hopefully get on to close out the week tomorrow. Day 25 at the end of the week. Just checking out the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar pair. Because it has pushed right back up today. Big gains for the Aussie dollar. Almost a percentage. Not quite closing at the new highs. But if we do see that over the next couple of days, certainly some potential divergence again. Get us back in. Better price, I guess. And the New Zealand dollar does sink lower to a lower close against the US dollar, but the OBV is with it. So yes, a low, but no divergence. Same for the Aussie US dollar. And same for the Aussie Swissy. Big push for the Euro against New Zealand dollar. Really big push here. Almost two and a half percent, about two and a quarter. And I think there's the narrowest of divergences here. The previous high, 607.582. Now we're at 605.858. So a slightly lower OBV does mean the divergence is there. But even with the really big push, I'm not convinced this isn't going to go for another one times ATR to a stop loss that we set. We'll skip the trade, but we'll keep an eye on this one and see where it ends up. No new signals for the day, which means no new signals for the week. First week that we haven't had a fresh trade to get going with. Going to have to be patient, try and get those good divergence signals in. See how we start getting on next week. For now, let's check out the trading journal. Not too much to add for the trading journal, only the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar trade. We can see that down there. That was, of course, a loss. Pretty bad news for it. And it does push us deeper in. We're going to need two good trades, I'd say, for us to start clawing back this money and then look at getting into profit. Five weeks in, six trades in. The OBB divergence, not looking so good.